Thank you very much. Thank you, Vicky, for the opportunity to speak about the uh, one Italian breed. The Bracco Italiano is one of the 16 breeds born in Italy. We have uh, all groups uh, represented, excluded the uh, group three of Terriers. Many breeds for different functions. In Italy, we have uh, the mentality of all dogs must be working. And for this, uh, all uh, our uh, trial, uh, um, trial competition, we are always in the best. Uh, we are in the hunting competition, in the walking competition. We won many times uh, the world title, the many, many titles in the, uh, around the world. And for this I write, uh, never forgetting the function. It is very important in all breeds. The companion dogs is, uh, the function is company to the, to the people. And uh, not many, uh, to be uh, uh, aggressive to the people, this is a function. Like a hunt, uh, gun, dog, gun dog dog must be to the, to the hunting. Uh, there is another page on this. I don't know if you have seen never the dogs in the competition. This is a typical trotting of the of the Italian Bracco. It's uh, the only one uh, in the uh, in, for, in many breeds that use the trotting for moving in the hunting. It's, uh, together with the Italian Spinone, it's a little different uh, trotting, but it is uh, the only one using the trotting. And for this, uh, when you can see in the show ground, uh, the, this breed in the best in show, uh, for example, in the best in show main ring, uh, you can see very excellent trot because uh, the, uh, the trot is a uh, is, uh, movement, native movement. I want. You can see always the, the one, another the tail is the tail, very in, always in movement. And uh, for the specialist in the show ground, when you, we cannot see the tail movement, okay, we stop in the pointing now, always the tail, okay, it is very important sign as of the, the type. I want, uh, when I prepare the, this PowerPoint, I think that uh, the Italian bracket is not very popular breed in, in, uh, over the world. And I changed my presentation for, to show you some different things. So, uh, you, you can see very fantastic movement. And it is not easy for the, the other breed to have this movement. Okay, you can, you can pass. I remember you that uh, the Italian Bracco was uh, and uh, always will be a simple breed for a simple and genuine people. What do you mean this? 
that we don't uh, want that this uh, political became more popular, too much popular, because of the, when the political became popular, uh, this will be destroyed. And I put this photo is about uh, one, uh, 45, 15 years ago. Okay, always the Bracco Italiano is only one, uh, the, the only one uh, breed uh, that uh, you can say that uh, the similar type in the, in the competition dogs and in, in the showground dogs. Because uh, if you have in the mind uh, the Irish setter or the English setter, you can see very different type uh, for the walking and for the show. The Bracco Italiano it is always uh, the same. I, I, I want to explain you about the history, some synonymistic uh, always uh, about the Italian Bracco and the standard, but I want to go a little more quickly because uh, the, the time is passing. A moment. You can the Jumping back through the years. Uh, the first uh, document uh, that uh, speak about uh, the Italian Braco is about uh, 15, 50 uh, after Christ, uh, and it is uh, the natural history by Plinio. What what do you mean this? Uh, that, uh, the Italian Braco is one of the most uh, ancient breed in the world uh, in the world breed. The Italian Braco was very appreciated for its hunting. Uh, and uh, in, fi uh, in the 15th century was exported from uh, the France, France uh, uh, and uh, in, this, in this country was uh, gave the light to other, other breeds, like uh, the French pointing uh, and uh, in the Spain uh, for the Pen Spanish pointing dog. A big step through the century. Uh, Italian Braco was uh, the companion of the hunting with, uh, for the falconry until 14th uh, century, after with a net, and uh, we arrived at the 18th century, for, and uh, Italian Braco became a fixed uh, breed. I, I like to put this, uh, this saying, uh, Hunter go hunting with three dogs as no dogs. What mean this? Uh, in that period, uh, the many hunter, Italian hunter buy uh, the uh, English dog uh, for hunting. But you know that uh, the English dog for hunting, for example, English setter in that period was not uh, able to report uh, the the wild and the user. The Labrador or the for report the wheel, or use the cocker for the uh, found the the beer, bird, and uh, <coughs> for this uh, uh, the uh, lover 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 user of Italian Braco decided to use uh, and, uh, uh, and the Italian Braco became more popular in in Italy. And uh, he was uh, the dog uh, for the single hunter. In those years, uh, the bread was still divided into two different categories. Was uh, the braco leggero, uh, the small braco, and the uh, heavy braco. It's very different, but always uh, the same type of the dog. And this went on for years and years. We skip the uh, 19th century, very important period for the Italian Bracco. <coughs> and uh, in 92, uh, when uh, the Italian Kennel Club uh, was born, the first dog inscribed in the Italian origin book was Falco and was uh, Italian Bracco. The number one in the uh, registration in Italian Kennel Club was the one Bracco. Okay, it, it was 1992, 1892. In 1986, uh, the first uh, drawing up of the non-official standard by Ferdinando de Lor. Ferdinando de Lor was a very important person, okay, but I skip. And uh, one, uh, um, one nephew of this man was still alive in Italy, and uh, she uh, breeder also. Italian Bracco. 
but this is a, a is can is a kennel. The name was Canile della Caccia. It was very big kennel, and we have many photos of this kennel. And the first standard divided the Italian Braco into two categories into two categories until and uh, these categories were uh, uh, represented by different varieties with a different name uh, so we can show um, these breeds uh, in many in many varieties but uh, we uh, put uh, this uh, this map uh, you can see all, always in the north of italy okay this breed was always only only recognized in the breed, in the north Okay, I skip this one. Only the it was different color and different, uh, but the type was the same. The, the same. It was in different regions. So you find the different uh, styles and, and color. In '97. Uh, the official standard uh, was written by, by Società Bracofila, is uh, the, the club of the Italian Braco. And uh, I can I like to see you this um, this uh, table. We can see the the weight uh, we have in the 97, 87, no 80, 97. Okay, yes. And the weight is uh, 36, uh, 20 for the, uh, 36 for the male and 28 for the beach. And now is, uh, is, uh, this is uh, the standard. The size is uh, 65 for the male and 60 for the beach. And uh, you can see <coughs> standard, the actual standard. Okay. Also in that uh, uh, standard was, was right that the important proportion, the length of the body is the same, or a little more than the height of the wheels. Okay, just one, 140 years ago. Square, square. A little bit, yes, a little bit. <coughs> Not very square, but a little bit. Okay. In 1923, uh, the new version of the FISA standard, and the, the, the most important uh, person was uh, Mr. Solaro. I think that uh, you know him because he was president of FCI uh, about uh, 100 years ago. And he was, uh, and he was very important in the Cinognostic, uh, in Cinognostic, for the Cinognostic rules about the dogs. From there came our Italian school, so we were very happy to have this professor. Yes who had a very deep knowledge of uh, and this is, I think, why we have in Chinonostic, I think, a very good preparation yes. in Italy. Because we still study uh, from these books. Uh, science, uh, since 90, uh, 1923, all uh, dogs were registered in the Italian Canon Club Register, okay? This was uh, the painting, the drawing of uh, Giuseppe Solaro, and you can see that uh, no, no, never exaggerate. This fantastic painting that, uh, with a fantastic proportion, not heavy, not too small. Yes, it's very Oh, this, uh, this is uh, the photo of the first show in Lodi, was uh, 60 dogs, uh, but uh, uh, we, I, write, I wrote here, but for many years we have uh, had too much difference in breeding. Still, uh, we had uh, the big braco, you can see, very heavy, and the small and the light braco. This is uh, the father of the modern uh, Italian, uh, Braco, Italian Braco, was Mr. Paolo Cicceri, was my, my teacher and I think of also for Francesco, uh, even if he's more younger than me. 
but uh, he was a very fantastic uh, person and uh, super uh, breeder. And also he was in the standard, in FCI standard commission for many years. This, uh, one is, uh, this dog is one of his uh, uh, product. And now, <coughs> the Italian Bracco is present above all in Italy. It's about uh, 700 puppies every year. You can see not much uh, and not uh, so, so, so low number. Are, are these 700 many working dogs or sure? No, no, puppies. Are they for, for working? No, for working. The, mass, the majority. majority is for working, yes. But I show you before that it is not the difference between the show, show dogs and the working dogs. It is the same. And uh, is, uh, this, uh, this uh, breeds uh, is uh, the uh, bred breed with majority ch absolute champion. What I mean, working and show together the became champion. We can find excellent subjects also in uh, Great Britain and uh, uh, Finland and Sweden, okay, and uh, in uh, USA and South America. More and more Italian Bracos win in the dog show. I remember you, this dog. Okay, the photo is not. Yes, Axel. Axel was the Ukanuba, Ukanuba Sabo Tripoli. <laughs> Also, can you be winner and uh, uh, best in show winner uh, in the Poland, uh, the Poland uh, World Cup show? But uh, I think in Poland was uh, 16 years, uh, 16 months old. And the dead butter here, what happened? <laughs> okay. I want to pick your attention. <laughs> Okay, I skip this. Uh, we have made uh, uh, in the last uh, two years one um, evaluation of uh, our population, and I want to show you only this one. And uh, I, I have, we have a measure uh, about uh, 500, 600 dogs, and the, jet, the average is uh, we can say that the all Braco in a no day is in the middle size. Okay, not exaggeration in the up and in the down. All uh, muscular tonicity and the superiority of the working dog. Okay, we stay always in the working dog. Uh, I, I, I saw the, the size is uh, always uh, the same. Okay. And uh, we can say this, uh, the, it, it is a little uh, uh, um, out of the square, but it is always a square body. If you, if you can see, uh, I can also, you know, the breeder. The, the standard can also say uh, the length is, uh, much, is uh, greater than uh, the, uh, about 11%. If you, ch if you measure this uh, size in uh, dogs, seven, 70 centimeters is uh, about 9 centimeters, you cannot see, it's like this, okay, sometimes uh, the typicalness of the head and the correct divergence of the cranium fascial axis has became a constant, it is very important for us uh, the, the, the um, Yes, it is very important. No breeds. Uh, this is what we are really, I think we are the strongest, the strongest school in Europe that we really teach us that uh, this is a very important part of time. And they, for example, the Brackwick, we will find this divergence. You could never our next. Oh, yes. But uh, I saw you where is the right uh, divergence. And uh, we, in, Ita in, it in Italian school, uh, we have a different way to, to check this type, this uh, head upper line. Because uh, we check, uh, I saw you in the middle of the cranium, not on the tangent of the cranium. 
Okay. Uh, oh. In no day, no problem in uh, skin, lymphatism. Uh, we have a very sapety um, body. Sapety. <coughs> I don't want to be a professor with uh, like uh, judges, but I want to introduce some rules. Uh, we have, uh, because it is very important uh, for us, uh, the, the good quality, but I start from the beginning. Uh, there is, the, we have the breed, for each breed there is a standard. In the standard we have found the, the fault and we found the good quality. The good quality is relative, are relative or absolute. The good quality for us give the type. Okay? What means this? If I show you this line, you keep <laughs> what what I presented for you. We are so really you can't imagine how so never can, can he, he, he can never pass exam any of our students if he is not able to see this. Yeah. Okay, these two lines what is oh. what are <laughs> the head of the line. In Italian Braco this two line is the top line. Yes, and this is uh, the group. Okay, I put uh, the Italian Braco now. This is okay. Okay. So this is how the teacher. For us, it's very different. Uh, what I say before, like we we. Uh, <laughs> It is difficult, but it is easy for us uh, because uh, we cannot see the problem in the in the frontal bones, for, for example. It can change the, the if, you, if, you, if you check the line in this way. You, we start from the occiput, this point, and we start, and we mentality we draw draw imaginary, imaginary line in the uh, nasion and inion. Okay, this is very easy. This is uh, the, our way to, to check the upper line. Okay. Uh, I think the Italians, we are very much of this and very much of court for the Italian breeds. Court also is a very important part for our breeds. You know what is uh, the standard is uh, the totality of the feature that the subject must have in order to be considered by full right as a belonging to a particular <coughs> breed. Okay. What about the fault and good quality? The fault can be noticed only in a domestic breed. Be why? Because in the, in the natural environment, indeed, the errors are not admitted. You can see the one uh, wolf with uh, a problem in the hips, because after one year or more or before was diet, okay? And uh, if uh, in the natural, this type of uh, population living, it is not able, able to reproduce and uh, transmit the problem, okay? In, instead, in the, uh, human, in the human selection, the error is a missing interpretation of the standard. Because why? If uh, we have some problem in, uh, for example, in the German Shepherd, from the rear with the elbow, with the hips, or uh, bec why? Bec because it is not exaggerating the, in the ambulation. Okay? It is our problem, a problem. Okay? It's a breeder problem. The contrary of the fault is the good, are the good quality. The good quality can, uh, can be divided into absolute and relative. Absolute good quality is a positive future common to every breed. Muscular, short muscular, uh, intense pigmentation of the eyes and mucosa, okay? This is a good quality. The relative quality is a positive feature for one breed, but not necessarily for another one. I put a very simple example. 
Der T Sizer bike is a good quality for a German Shepherd or Italian Bracco, but not for the Cane Corso or, or Bull Mastiff or Dogo Canario. Okay. And for this, if uh, in the standard, for example, in the Cane Corso is writing for uh, Anderson bite, uh, I cannot accept one Caesar bite uh, because it is writing the standard. Okay, I am not an dentist, but if, if in the standard he writes something, we are to uh, follow the standard. The sum of the relative good uh, define the type. I think that we can skip this one. Okay, the judging criteria uh, for, uh, for us, uh, if, if, I, if I don't found the type, I cannot continue, continue the, 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 the judgment. I, I exaggerate now, but I cannot give excellent or the, or the certificate. It's necessary to know the breed. If I don't know the relative good quality, I cannot understand the breed. Okay? But it is not necessary to be the breed, breeder of this, of the, it is necessary to study every day, to inform every day, and do, and, uh, take uh, the information from the other colleague that know the other group. Okay, the sexual mark, the anatomy, the movement, the distinction, okay, now we can. The standard is uh, the summary of the phenotypical feature of a breed. It's a competence of the origin country of the breed. Okay, the type. This is uh, the forehead uh, for the muzzle of Italia Bracco. One characteristic in, in this breed is uh, the inverted uh, lips. Okay, not around the lips. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, inverted yeah. lips. Yeah. And uh, if I continue, so I can, for example, uh, uh, speak about uh, the nose. It is not um, 19 degrees nose, but it is a little uh, down. Um, out, uh, out of Romanose. Yes, Romanose is about the upper line. This is uh, the, the angulation of the nostrils. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, if I continue, so I can say about the ears. Okay. It is a set uh, to the zygomatic arch. Okay. Oh, the dewlap. Not exaggerate you up. Okay, this uh, for us is a typical sign, a uh, typical uh, feature for the type. I put uh, this one. It, it, I don't know if you know that in, in the Italian Bracco was uh, the fifth finger in the rear. If you don't found the fifth finger, there is a uh, one of the maximum quality of the type. You can. You must look at the head upper line. And if you are not sure about this, look at the expression. We have uh, many, many features to control for, this, for arriving to the uh, right type. And I say, I finish with uh, the expression, she don't betray you, okay? The expression is uh, the typical, uh, yes. The sexual map, okay. <laughs> He don't breathe. <coughs> not, uh, not a need to explain about the castration, but I, I want to, to explain only one thing about the top of the shoulder. M many of the judges not uh, check this, but uh, in the trotting uh, breeds, the shoulder is like very parallel, okay? And the more the, uh, the, the the, uh, the movements um, became more quickly, the, the, the top of the shoulder uh, converged in the middle. This for the um, musc muscular, muscular uh, movement, it is very difficult to explain in two seconds. But uh, we, we can check uh, always the distance of the, in the bracket should be maximum, should be, uh, 
uh, we have the possibility to put a three fold finger in the in the middle between the shoulder, the top of the shoulder. It is not possible to put this in the in the center or uh, in other points. Okay. The movement I, I show you before the movement of the Bracco is a beautiful movement. And the distinction, the dog in the ring, I am here. You can see this uh, photo is a fantastic photo. Okay. The ears is not same, uh, same person. The maximum, maximum type, but, uh, okay. but the expression is correct. This uh, is, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, the, fa the mother of uh, Axel, I think, this one. Yeah. Okay. The head upper line, you can see the divergent, the parallel, and the convergent head upper line, the pointer, the English setter, and the Italian bracco. Okay. We don't check in this way, but we check in this way. You can see that it can be different, okay? Because uh, if I uh, found more bone, more more frontal bones, the, the in this case uh, can change uh, the, my view. Okay, I go very quickly. Uh, I had, I wrote uh, the head upper line the ter the term the movement of the dog. I, I, have you seen before in the in the movie? When the dog was running more quickly, the, the head was more <coughs> down. When uh, she was the trotting, the head was up. Okay, this is very important because uh, you can uh, imagine uh, the dog is here. The bird is uh, 30 meters uh, in, um, away, and uh, with type of the, the nostrils is very down. Okay, if it don't. If you don't tap, then the head is it's not possible to to, to catch the, uh, the, the, um, the smell of the... Okay. The side view of the, of the skull, we, have, we can have the uh, dome skull like a goggle setter. The convex skull like set around the Italian bracco and uh, the full flat skull like a pointer or doberman. The side view of the muzzle upper line, we have the flat upper line, convex upper line like the Italian bracco and concave upper line like a boxer or a pointer, okay? <coughs> That what this is what uh, I want to say before the convex angle. This is acute angle and this. Is okay, let's go too quickly. This is important. Pending uh, like uh, the the fluid pending like English blue down the Italian bracco. Okay, rounded like uh, English setter. You can see the difference this uh, circle and the uh, stretched uh, like I reset uh, and Doberman that he not pending uh, okay this is uh, the eyes position okay as you can see in Italy we measure everything mm -hmm. yeah. this is how our, our standards are quite complicated because it's full of but uh, this is our old school, so it's very I hard go, for us. I go more quickly. The set here, so we can see the high set over, over the zygomatic arch, like uh, German Sotile Pointer or Pagne Breton. Normal set uh, on the zygomatic arch, like English setter, and uh, uh, under the zygomatic, like uh, uh, Italian. <laughs> The top line, the sloppy top line, like uh, any setter. The, sl the less sloppy top line would be like uh, the modern English setter, but uh, more horizontal, for example, is uh, English setter is better. 
and uh, straight to top line like uh, Dark Sound or like uh, like uh, <coughs> any bridge. It's very important the bottom line because of the Braco have uh, the only one the Gracella, you know the the Gracella is the is the the skin between the the color the the up down with the pelvis is very important uh, uh, signal of type and we also the remote bottom line like a pointer a very remote bottom line like the side down the feet we have the uh, hard feet cat feet and uh, okay open feet the italian braco have a cat in the middle between the high hair feet and the cat feet okay. between Okay, the last uh, version was right last year, but only for to put some things uh, um, following, following the FCI uh, regulation. Okay, they got solar type, nothing too much. Two fantastic Italian Braco, look the head, the expression, and the color. The color is uh, the, the, the most difficult color is uh, the brown because uh, don't, don't uh, be too much dark, but uh, we call uh, And yes, yes, it's yeah, a very important, it's yeah. very precious. Huh? Yeah, the mm. most valuable color. Okay, go with me. This fantastic. Okay, it's a little, some years ago, but it was a very, very nice. Sculpted head, we can find every time the Ochibut. Okay, no, never the crystal. Not the Ochiput is like this, never the crystal Ochiput. Yes, yes. And what about the wrinkle? What? The wrinkle. The wrinkle is a little too much, but it is a right uh, this one. Have to be a little clean. Yes. But that's to have some Yeah, yes, it must have some wrinkles. Nape. Okay, we can touch uh, uh, the. Uh, under the object, you can see the difference. Temporal region all over. This, uh, this, I don't know if uh, many judges know this, but it is very important for us. This is very typical region for Braco, and it is different from the Italian Spinone. The Italian Spinone must have a roof skull, because uh, the, uh, the Italian Spinone, this part is very pronounced. Okay, not in the, not in the Italian Braco. Typical wrinkle, eyes, well chiseling, okay, we can see after, uh, under the skin the bones. Elegant view lap, not too much, and uh, always divided, not uh, unique uh, view lap. Yes, important proportion, Length of the body is the same or a little more than the height. Length of the head is equal to, uh, to 410 to, uh, of the height of the widths. What mean? If I have uh, 60 centimeter of the pitch, the head is 24 centimeter. Um, the width of the skull is a uh, uh, little uh, less uh, of the length of the half uh, the, uh, the length the, the length head 
and the scalene muscle are of, of, are of equal length. Okay, AB is uh, equal or less uh, CB. I don't want to introduce no. some, I don't want to introduce, but uh, for us a very important, for example, this, this uh, index, the cephalic index. Uh, okay, uh, we, uh, if, uh, if um, we make uh, the proportion between the length of the skull and uh, the length of the head, multiply uh, 100, we have this number, and this number is uh, uh, under 50 per 50 is a dolicocephal um, head. If uh, the head, the, the number, the result is 50, 55 is uh, dolicocephal, mesocephal, and the over is brachycephal, like a uh, boxer. Like, uh, the uh, muscle and the skull are equal length. Okay. It is important that uh, uh, is different divergence at, at upper line. It is important that we don't have this type. Uh, what mean that the, the, the line of the muzzle should be um, should be entering the middle of the sky, not too much uh, behind, uh, first behind. Okay. This is uh, correct, this is too much. Okay. Also, this is a little too much. And uh, bigger, bigger default for us is a uh, uh, parallel head upper line, it's a very big default. And uh, for us, is a uh, qualification dot. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Parallel and convergent is a uh, Okay, the skull is seen in profile, the uh, shape of very open arms, so you can see. Okay. I don't want to. I will show you some many. For example, this is a too much dulap. Uh, okay, you can see very heavy. And one of the characteristics of this one, the, uh, the flu don't touch the incisor and the jaw. This is very important. Okay? Because it is a B, an inverted B, and this uh, is very important to check this. Okay. Ayas, eyes, eyes, semilateral semi position with a soft and submissive expression. Made, um, never a uh, strong expression, but a very sweet expression. Soft. I saw you when, uh, when the the, uh, the ears are very, are very inserted and very shaped, it's fantastic um, ears. But uh, you can see in this, uh, in this photo is very big. Uh, and if I show you this, you can see this, the different head. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this one is a uh, Savoese Spanol. Okay, very different breed. But if I don't say nothing to you, you can think that it is at the same rate. Okay, there are many different photos. Okay, never too much, the new lap is very important. 
the top line. This is very important because some people not uh, understand because it is uh, the only we have only two bleeds, this one and the, and the Italia Spinone, but with a little difference. Uh, the, the upper <coughs> the upper profile of the back is made up of two lines. One almost straight slope from the withers to the 15 dorsal vertebra. This so one. it's like it's a bit broken. Yes. The other is lately archer joining with a line of uh, the ramp. Okay. Yeah, you can say different line. It is not found. It is uh, very important that the shoulder is at uh, the same uh, height of the of the foot. Okay. And then not never up and down. Never sloping, but never up. I so I said before, so blades were separated. Okay, very important for the movement. Loin, okay, in all breeds it is short. In this breed, it is a little more convex. The group is uh, um, angulated, about uh, 30 degrees. In this case, it's too much inclined, you can see. And the tail is uh, set uh, too low. Okay, this uh, uh, wrong dogs. Never, uh, never, at my, at, uh, because many handlers show the, all the dogs in the same, uh, in the same way, it's never, uh, permitted to show the Italian bracket in this way. The chest is a very broad, deep, and well uh, let down to the level of the elbows. Elbows. Underline is well defined, not more this type, but neither this type. I, I, I spoke be, be, uh, before about the Gracella brand. This is very important in this breed. If you don't found this, uh, some problem is in the type. Okay. You must have this type, this uh, Gracella. Okay, better dogs. Some, but I think that it's not interesting to you. The tail, I saw before, the tail always in movement, and uh, <coughs> at the level of the back, it has ne never um, down. Okay, the same problem with the long tail, because uh, until um, five, five years ago, we cut all, all the puppies. Yes, we can see uh, in the not in movement dogs, in rest, in, in attention. Uh, this is in set, is a set to high, uh, carried to high, and uh, okay, one time was uh, cut to short. Okay. okay, you can see in the standard with it. Okay, this, so you can see the very poor angulation in the rear. This is all Italian mathematics standard, okay, you can see all, the, all angulation. But if you don't notice, you never will pass. But I think that... Uh, in a way, it's Italian. Can, can, uh, this uh, this uh, type of standard can help uh, to understand better the, yeah. the breeds. Otherwise, uh, there are many confusion and many types inside. Remember this type. 
Fuck that gay movie, man. Skin. Good but elastic, thinner on the head, the throat. Uh, okay, I remember you never black. In all Italian breed, never, hunting breed, never black. It is a qualification color. Hair short, dense and glossy, thinner and shorter on the head, the ears. No more long than 1.5 centimeter. Okay. Okay, when you see there are some subject with a, a long coat on the base of the group, you can check better because of some wrong in the type. Okay, okay the color you can see in the standard, which color are acceptable. Okay, I think that we can stop. I got I wrote monk's rock. Okay, what I said before. This is what the, this is the, the, what we call the prestigious color of the screen. Okay. <coughs> I think remember this prototype and thank you very much.